In this tutorial, I'll show you how to make this model of a chair using the box modeling technique. It's based on a tutorial from the book The Essential Guide to Learning Blender by Roland Hess. I'll put the details of the book in the description of the tutorial. In the properties window, click the object button. Set the X scale to 10, set the Y scale to 10, zoom back with the mouse wheel, click the modifiers button, add modifier, subdivision surface. These are the number of subdivisions. The top number is the number of subdivisions in the 3D view. The bottom number is the number of subdivisions when you render. With one subdivision, each original face is divided into four faces and corners are smoothed. With two subdivisions, each original face is divided into 16 faces and the model is smoother. With three subdivisions, each original face is divided into 64 faces and we get a smooth, shapely model. If I go into edit mode, because we haven't applied the modifier, we see our original flattened cube on the outside and inside we see what we will get when we apply the modifier. Change the view to the top view. Change the view from perspective to orthogonal and zoom in with the mouse wheel. We don't want the chair to have a round seat. We want a rectangular seat with smooth edges. So how do we put the corners back in? Well, one way is to use loop, cut and slide. Click the button. As the mouse approaches the cube, you get a purple line. Click and slide up and down and you see the effect of the new geometry on the subdivided model. Move the line so that it's two grid blocks from the top and click. Repeat the process to put a loop cut two grid blocks from the bottom. To make it easier to see where I'm placing my loop cuts, I'm going to change shading to wireframe and I'm going to hide the modifier. To add a vertical loop cut, click loop cut and slide and approach a horizontal edge, click and slide two grid blocks from the side and another one, loop cut and slide, approach a horizontal edge, click, slide two blocks from the side and click. Now that I've added loop cuts to make the seat more rectangular, I'm adding loop cuts to make faces from which I can extrude the chair legs. Each loop cut is four grid blocks from the edge. Press A on the keyboard twice to select all. In the mesh menu, snap selection to grid. Redisplay the subdivision surface modifier and turn shading back to solid. Change the view to the bottom view. Go into face select mode. Select one of the faces we made for the chair legs. Hold down shift and select the other three. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Press E to extrude and extrude the chair legs. I'm going to enter a value of 15, enter. Zoom back with the mouse wheel. Pan, shift and drag with middle mouse button. We get these wonderful curves created by the subdivision surface modifier, which I'll deal with in a minute. But first, I want to splay the legs. I want to spread them out so that the chair is more stable. Select the face, hold down shift and select the second face. Now I want to move these faces in the direction of the red arrow, so I'm pressing G to grab, X for the X direction, 1 and enter. Select the face, hold down shift, select the second face. Now I want to move these in the opposite direction of the red arrow, so it's G to grab, X, minus 1 and enter. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Select the face, hold down shift, select the second face. Now we want to move these in the direction of the green arrow, so I'm pressing G to grab, Y for the Y direction, 1 and enter. Select the face, hold down shift, select the second face. Now we want to move these in the opposite direction of the green arrow, G to grab, 
y for the y direction minus 1, enter. The legs are too curvy, so I'm going to use loop cuts to reduce the curvature. Click the button, approach the chair leg. When you get the purple line, click and slide right to the bottom and click. When you slide the loop cut, its position is displayed in this bottom left hand corner. It is a fraction of the distance from the centre to the end of the leg and can be positive or negative depending which way you move the mouse. If you hold down the control key, the position changes by one decimal place. When it's 0.9, click. Repeat the process for the other legs. Loop cut and slide, click, slide to the base, click. Loop cut and slide, click, slide, hold down control. When it's 0.9, click. Loop cut and slide, click, slide to the base, click. Loop cut and slide, click, slide, hold down control, 0.9, click. Loop cut and slide, click, slide to the base, click. Loop cut and slide, click, slide, hold down control, 0.9, click. To make the back rest, change the view to the front view. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Go into face select mode. Select the face, hold down shift, select the second face. Press E to extrude, type 15 and enter. Zoom back with the mouse wheel, pan, shift and middle mouse button. I'm going to remove the curves the same way as before by adding loop cuts. Loop cut and slide, click, slide to the base, click. Loop cut and slide, click, slide up, hold down control when the value is 0.9, click. Loop cut and slide, slide to the base, click. Loop cut and slide, slide, hold down control, 0.9, click. To make the backrest, I'm going to add another loop cut. Click, slide, hold down control, and when the value is minus 0.4, click. Loop cut and slide, click, slide, hold down control, minus 0.4, click. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and pan, shift, middle mouse button. Select an edge. I'm going to turn the 3D manipulator widget off. Click subdivide and change the number of cuts to two. Select the next edge, subdivide number of cuts to two. Drag to rotate the view. Select an edge, subdivide number of cuts two. Select an edge, subdivide number of cuts two. Go into vertex select mode. Select one of the new vertices. Scroll down and find the knife tool. Now when we hover over an edge, we get a green square. When we hover over a vertex, we get a green square with a red outline. Hover over one of the new vertices and click. Hover over the vertex below it and click. Press the spacebar to confirm. Click knife. Hover over the new vertex, hover over the one below it, click spacebar to confirm. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view and repeat the process. Click the knife tool, hover, click, hover, click, spacebar to confirm. Knife tool, hover, click, hover, click, spacebar to confirm. At this point, I've got both new faces selected, so I'm going to try and bridge them. In the Mesh menu, Edges, Bridge Two Edge Loops, and mine has worked. If you get an error message, number of edges do not match, make sure you've got four edges selected on both sides. To get rid of the curves, use Loop Cut and Slide. Click, slide all the way, click. Loop cut and slide, click, slide all the way, click. To shape the back of the chair, I'm going to go into face select mode and select the top faces. Hold down shift to select the second one. Enable proportional editing. Press S to scale, press 1.1. .1. Use the mouse wheel to increase the area of proportional editing and press enter. Drag with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. Press 
G to grab followed by Y for the Y direction, 1 and enter. To curve the backrest I'm going to add a loop cut. Click loop cut and slide. When you get the purple line I'm going to click the mouse twice in quick succession. Press G to grab, Y for the Y direction and press 0.5 and enter. Next I'm going to shape the seat. Hold down shift and drag with the middle mouse button to pan. Go into face select mode, select the face, press E to extrude and I'm going to enter a value minus 0.5 and enter. Go into object mode and change shading to smooth. The chair is relatively big so I'm going to press S to scale 0.1 and enter. Zoom in with the mouse wheel and pan, shift and middle mouse button. The model is finished. Next you need to think about a suitable material. That's the end of the tutorial. I will put the finished model at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there if you want to download it. Thanks for watching and goodbye.